Oh, hello. Um, what I'd like to do f in this module is spend just a few minutes showing you some of the cubic structures. See, you've been seeing some of these represented on the flat pages of the textbook and on the OWL screen on a computer screen. And I thought I'd go ahead and show you some models of the three cubic structures that are very common. Uh, this one here is a simple cubic structure, simple cubic. Uh, we don't find any atoms in the face or in the center here. We do have lots of space. People usually go ahead and estimate that 50% of this is empty space, 50% is matter or what we might call stuff. The simple cubic, simple cubic structure. A little bit more efficient packing would be the body-centered cubic or BCC. We have a simple cubic structure with eight corner atoms, just like the light blue one. Simple cubic, eight corner atoms. But as you can see with this light purple model, body-centered is referring to an atom that's at the center of the cube. Better efficiency of packing. So your metals, some of your solids that you might have in your home, you might say, wow, they're heavier or more dense than others. Might have this structure where there's more stuff. And people usually estimate that it's about 68% of stuff, the rest being empty space. Very efficient packing was referred to as the face-centered cubic structure, or FCC. We have a simple cubic structure with eight corner atoms. We do not have an atom at the center, as in the body-centered, but we do have six face-centered atoms. So in every one of the six faces, we have an atom here. I always look at it side view and think of the number five on a domino, how those dots would be arranged face-centered. And people usually go ahead and say, well, the packing efficiency is about 78 percent. 78 percent matter, the remaining uh, being the leftover stuff. I'll take a moment and go to the board and sketch out how we determine what the repeat unit of these are. Swell. <laughs> ah. Now the repeat unit is defined as the smallest unit that can represent the actual material. Now this might look like a repeat unit and in fact it is for a simple cubic. We could take one of these models and envision setting it up on top, one to the right, one to the left, one out in front, one behind, and we'd have representative. But it's not the smallest. What we could do is go ahead and think about like shaving this into a cube. I saw a picture of a cube, and let me put the atoms here, but not show them sticking outside of the cube. The repeat unit shown up on the board is smaller than this. It goes from the vertices of these atoms inwards to make the cube. Well, that means that one-eighth of this atom is contained inside the repeat unit. For our body-centered, what we have is we have a model that's showing nine of these spheres representing, say, atoms or ions. This is absolutely not the repeat unit. And one way of showing that it's not the repeat unit is if I go ahead and take one of these, and duplicate it and set it up on top, that would not represent its real structure. We would be missing an atom. It wouldn't correctly represent. I would stack one of these with another one on top. I don't have another one, so let me go ahead and estimate by putting one of these here. And you can see what's going to happen is that this would be represented up here, but not here when in fact there is an atom inside there. So our repeat unit must not be this, and in fact, it'll turn out to be smaller. It's going to be just like this, but it'll have one complete atom contained inside the center of that cell. For the face centered, we're going to have something very similar to this, and we're going to have half of one of these faces contained inside the cell. Let me sketch that out for a moment.
take a moment and explain, I'm showing the corners where they are not touching each other. Well, the only time that we see the corner atoms touch each other is in the simple cubic. With the body centered cubic, or BCC, that center atom is pushing the corners out so they're not touching. So in fact, this sketch needs to have these corner atoms pushed out a little bit. They should not be in contact with each other. As you can probably see, these corner atoms certainly are not in contact with each other. And we have an atom inside the face. Well, I thought I'd give you a little three-dimensional representation of some of the cubic cells. 